Hi there, I'm Dr. Tony Mork, author, speaker, inventor, board certified orthopedic surgeon, endoscopic spine specialist. And for the past 13 years, my practice has been dedicated exclusively to the treatment of painful conditions of the neck and back without the use of a fusion. Tonight, I'd like to talk about why conscious sedation is the perfect mate with endoscopic spinal surgery. And probably you'd think I was crazy if uh, I thought, if I told you, geez, you know, you should consider having a back operation with IV sedation and local anesthesia. I mean, really, wouldn't you like to be knocked out, completely out of it, you know, like most operations you've probably heard of? Well, I'm here to propose a little different way of thinking about it. I mean, our background and over thousands of years, our instincts have been tuned to be aware of our surroundings. And really, why be just knocked out? It was such an unusual part of our lives to be completely unaware of our surroundings. Even from a deep sleep, we're able to wake up and transition into waking state relatively quickly, even though you might need a cup of coffee on occasion. And really, what is the purpose of an anesthetic? It's really just to relieve pain. And if you could be even somewhat conscious and have really minimal or no pain, not to mention no nausea or vomiting, and be able to be awake enough to feel in control of your situation? I mean, wouldn't that be a, a good way to have an anesthetic? Well, in my experience, and I've had a few operations, I would opt any day for IV sedation and local anesthesia if I knew I was going to be comfortable. I mean, I'm in control. I don't have the hangover. I don't have the breathing issues after the operation. I mean, there's just no reason uh, to not have IV sedation and local anesthesia. It's a fantastic way to go. And really, although I didn't know initially if it would work for spine surgery, when I started this about 13 years ago, and I was working with a very skillful anesthesiologist, Dr. Scott Hoff, he shared my enthusiasm for conscious sedation with the low use of local anesthesia while performing spine surgery. And it worked. It's a fantastic alternative. Now, maybe the bigger operations and fusions and that, I don't think it really, really works so well, perhaps. But certainly with this endoscopic spinal surgery, it really works great. And there are several reasons and benefits uh, that you might consider this to be a great alternative to a general anesthetic. <clears throat> and the benefits I see are three. Number one, safety. In my opinion, the most, the best spinal cord monitor in the world is an awake patient. There is nothing better. And this becomes especially important with revision of uh, previous open surgery. So if someone's got revision of uh, previous open surgery where the nerves are covered in scar tissue, landmarks are not clear, having an awake patient to give some warning of some leg or some arm, some leg or arm pain is really very beneficial. Number two, Someone could have some control. There's a lot of people who are a little heavy on the control switch anyway, but they really don't want to be uh, put out or knocked out so that they're unaware completely. I've even had upper level executives, even from Nigeria, fly halfway across the world to be operated on under conscious sedation just for that express purpose. The also, uh, the other thing that's really important is the uh, concept of a road test. And by that, I mean that in the normal operating position on the operating table, you don't always, you're not always in the position that gives you the most pain or the pain that you know is bothering you to have brought you to that place in the operating room. And under conscious sedation, uh, you can actually, if you're a little lighter, you can actually move around and oftentimes move into a position that would normally hurt you. This helps the surgeon to identify, or in this case me, helps to identify where the tight spots are. So for example, if I was in, in, finished with a decompression and asked you to move to a position where uh, it would really bother you, if you said, geez, most of it's gone, but I've got a little left, I could continue the decompression. This is what I refer to as a road test and is actually a great way to confirm that the problem or symptoms have been relieved by the surgery uh, and at the end of the procedure. Well, anyways, I'd like to thank you very much for listening to this. I think conscious sedation in, uh, in the use of endoscopic uh, laser spine surgery is a fantastic 
uh, alternative. And I uh, uh, appreciate you listening. If you like this, uh, please uh, make a comment in the comment box or uh, give me a thumbs up. And if you've got other questions, please uh, check me out at uh, drtonymort.com. I appreciate it. Thank you.